Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can start to learn how to manipulate nodes and actually start to work with the node editor inside of all of 0.2. Okay, the first major thing you're going to have to know is select on the video track you want to add nodes or change the direction or anything else with. And now that you have that, the node editor should be in the top left hand corner. So you can select the different nodes you want. So if you guys want to see all the nodes, just do a right hand click then go down to filter show all but if you really only want to see just one part of it you can always do the right click filter show selected blocks only which means you'll only see exactly which ones you're selecting so since i'm on this video track it only has these nodes with the video track so the other thing is you might need to know how to change the direction of being able to view your node editor in. Then all you guys have to do is you need to right click that panel, go down to direction and you have the top to bottom, bottom to top and these basically just flip flop. Inputs are the first word it says and then it says two and then the second one is the output one. So now let's say we want to actually have it from a left to right so now we can see from left we have our inputs and then to the right we see our output so the next thing is is we're going to explain how you guys can start adding your own nodes to be able to start changing it up so all you have to do is also do a right click add and you have your channel filter generator input math output timeline transition but all you have to do is hover over the add, then hover over the one you want, and then you can select hover over the last option you want and select that. And once you do that, now you have this little node. So either you can set it down anywhere or whenever you first have it, put it in between. So you know how I hover over that white line? Now, since it's blue, it means it's going to put it in between that line. So if you do that, for instance, which this is pan, now you have the effect of pan. Let's say we need to get rid of this. Either you can do a control X or you can actually click on it and press delete. Now you see how there's a space now because we don't have them connected anymore. You have to hit the control button, left click and then drag it onto it and now it's going to pop up a little window. So this is letting you know exactly what you're wanting to connect it to. And since we're trying to go into the audio, we need to go to the buffer. A few other things you need to know how to manipulate with this. If you want a real quick look at what you can connect to a node, all you have to do is hover over it and double left click. It will pop up the options that you can connect to and will show you which ones that line connecting it and showing exactly where it hits it. So the gaps going into the blocks. Meanwhile, the title is also going into the blocks. Another major important thing is how you can move around the different nodes, which is very simple, but just important to make sure you guys know. All you have to do is hold down left click on it to move it or there's another option you can do, which you can actually middle click and it'll give you the hand tool and you can move it around that way. But basically you can click and hold the middle mouse button and drag it around the screen if you need to be able to look at a different nodes. The other thing is inside of the menu options, you can do a left click auto position which actually will automatically make everything else before it in a straight line and allows for really easy way of just being able to see everything in a more simple way. So if you have them all spread out, you can condense it more. If you do the right click on a node, then you can actually go down and select label with your left mouse button. And now you can set the nodes label. So this is actually very useful for keeping track for yourself. But if you don't, rename the label it's just going to automatically say like clip transition whatever the original node was so i'm going to call this main audio now that you have that just press ok and it changes it right there for you so those are the main shortcuts you can do the last thing is for moving around you can also just click on the hand icon for the timeline and drag it around and click on them and move specific nodes around but I recommend just using the middle mouse button so you can go back to your mouse pointer and just have that enabled the entire time and just use your middle mouse button. Oh, other thing is, is you can hover over different connection points, left click on them and delete them, control X, delete them. 
But thank you guys for watching this video. And over here we have more all of 0.2 videos for you. And especially this video over here that YouTube recommends for you.